Hello my gravitational groceries, it's your boy Zionic Blader and in this video I will be ranking each Gilatar Ultra from worst to best. I will be ranking them by their overall competitive viability in the Bakugan Pro game. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. Number 5, Darkest Gilatar Ultra. The only Gilatar Ultra to not only have an epic character card, but also an evolution. It is a shame it still isn't that good. In base form, you have a poor core lineup of two green fists and an abysmal stat line of 502. Darkest Gilatar Ultra does have an epic character card that adds the effect that each player must discard a card at the beginning of the game, which can be annoying, but other than that, it doesn't really help, especially since if you want to focus your deck around making your opponent discard cards, then Darkest Kubo is better for you. Darkest Gilatar does have a 4 cost Titan Evolution with the stat line of 1004 which is something we would have seen back in year 1, so its stats are nothing special. It does have a Victor ability where the opposing player must discard a card for each Bakugir attached to it when the opponent loses a brawl against it. However, that's like 1, maybe 2 cards to discard, which don't get me wrong is cool, but being a Victor ability, especially when this Bakugan is so mediocre, doesn't really help. Just use Darkest Kubo. Number 4, Aquas Gilatar Ultra. A bit of a step up, especially since the core lineup is Magic Shield and Green Fist. Unfortunately, with a stat line of 602, it doesn't reach any good numbers. It may have seen a spot in a Mono Aquas deck because its B power reached 1250 on the plus 650 Magic Shield, but just like Aqua Centipod, once Aqua Shaktar Ultra released in Geogon Rising, this Bakugan lost its spot. Aquas Gilatar Ultra does have a 3 cost Hyper Evolution with a stat line of 907 which isn't anything special. And the Victor ability of being able to return a Bakugir to your hand which I don't know why you would want to do that, perhaps to reuse the Bakugirs that have on play effects, but I'm not sure if using this Bakugan in particular is worth it for that effect. Number 3, Ventus Gilatar Ultra. A nice core lineup of Magic Shield and Shield, and a stat line of 406, making this Bakugan worth the core swap for a Fire Fist to reach 12 damage. Number 2, Pyrus Gilatar Ultra. A nice core lineup of Helix and Shield, along with the stat line of 406. The first Gilatar on this list that would actually put up a fight without any core swapping, reaching 11 damage when on the minus 200 plus 5 Helix core. Pyrus Gilatar Ultra also has a 5 cost Diamond Evolution which bumps up the stats to 1307, which is fine, but with how powerful base form Bakugan can be now, evolutions have to do more to be worth using. Alright, so number 1 was going to be Aurelis Gilatar Ultra. However, since writing and recording the script, I have found out that Aurelis Gilatar Ultra, at least the character card for it, is extremely difficult to find. And unfortunately, um, Spin Master isn't giving replacements for that character card anymore. So it, you, if you buy an Aurelis Gilatar Ultra in the wild, it may or may not actually have the character card it needs. So, and most likely, it's probably not going to have the character card it needs, so uh, yeah, I guess number one is actually Pyrus Gilatar Ultra, because you can actually get the character card for it. But I guess you can also print a proxy for it, but for some reason, uh, Spin Master is against proxies. But I think in this case, a proxy for the Aurelis Gilatar Ultra would be fine. But uh, anyways, I'm just going to continue off this video uh, regularly, so... Okay, bye-bye. Number 1, Aurelis Gilatar Ultra. This Bakugan has an amazing core lineup of Magic Shield and Helix, and a stat line of 208. It's a Bakugan that pulls its weight when core swapping, while also being able to hold its own without core swapping, reaching a nice 13 damage when on the minus 200 plus 5 Helix core. Unfortunately, it is an Aurelis Bakugan which limits the card pool you have to build a deck with, but overall, this Bakugan is solid and the best Gilatar Ultra released in Bakugan Armored Alliance. Well, this has been Zionic Blader with my worst to best video. What do you think? 
Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comment section below and be sure to let me know your favorite Gilatar Ultra from Bakugan Armed Alliance. And if you like this video, hit the like button or don't. I'm not the boss of you, but be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya!